Hey there, I'm Carrie Ellis, author of 21st Century Superhuman. This is a 21st Century Superhuman live show. And today I have with me my wonderful partner, husband, Marek Villalobos. Buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches. Yes, and Mark is the, also, he is the, um, the voice of our new audiobooks that are coming out. And they're just, I think this week, they should be up on Amazon. And we're just waiting for them to clear in the publishing process. But we have the new third edition of the books out, 21st Century Superhuman. And book one is the one that's all really out there in both English and Spanish, which is really exciting. And the title of that book is Shift of the Ages, where ancient texts and cosmic light meet quantum physics, or in Spanish, we have it, the book out in Spanish and English. So Marek translated el, it and is doing has doing the audios for both. It's amazing. El superhumano del siglo XXI, libro uno, el cambio de las eras, and it's what is it? Ancient texts, los los textos, no, it's the cosmic light. In cosmic ancient light in ancient text, luz cósmica se encuentran con textos antiguos y la ciencia cuántica. Sí. So what we're really exposing in these books is how we are living in a quantum world and how quantum physics is affecting how we think about everything, how we think about what we say and what we do. So I just want to say hi if anybody's jumping on out there. Give everybody a minute. Um, this will be on... Facebook. It will also get posted to our 21st Century Superhuman YouTube channel and to Instagram and possibly even Twitter. So as we do these videos, we want to get them out where everybody can see them. So today we want to talk about the world being our mirror. And this is a huge concept to understand, don't you think? Oh, it's totally. It's, it's, it's almost inside out from, from normal thinking. We think that everything out there is out there. And quantum physics is telling us that there is no out there out there. And so what does that mean? It means everything comes from inside of us and is reflected from inside of us. This, the story I like to tell is of two guitars sitting one on each side of a room. And if you go walk over to one guitar and you pluck the G string, the G string on this other guitar will buzz. Now, that's just such a simple, when I first heard that, I was like, wow, this actually makes sense. I can understand it. So we are like an iceberg where we have the tip of the iceberg is above the water, which is our conscious awareness, our conscious thoughts of why we do things, of how we're connected to our reality. But down below the surface is the other what? The 95% unconscious, yes. subconscious thought which is the majority of what is affecting our reality, which is our physical genetics, which we inherited from both sides of our, our, par our parents. We have emotional stuff. We have social stuff. We have uh, all kinds of things that are down there, programs that are operating within our system that we don't even know about. It's like background programs that are running right. without our conscious mind knowing it. So when things are going on in the world and they're upsetting us, we have to look inside ourselves. When I see something that bothers me, I have to look inside myself and say, okay, where is the old data inside of me that is resonating with this? Because our true design is love. Our true design is to breathe, smile, have an open neurobiology, and it is to operate in love. And if anything less than love is coming up, and we've done some shows on this, we'll do more, but if anything less than love is coming up for us, we have to say, okay, where is this old data, this 95% unconscious data from our generations, from our experiences, from society, all of this stuff that's piled up inside of us, that G-string that's being plucked, and now we're seeing something outside of us and it's making us feel rage or grief or fear or doubt or apathy or unconsciousness. Or joy or love or peacefulness. True that. So what is within you is being reflected to you from your exterior. Yes. And that's what Carrie's getting at, is that what you see reflected 
at you or what you see outside of you is actually you, your insides being reflected back to you. So the question is, if there's something that you are, that you're not comfortable with or something that you would like to change in your exterior, where do you need to go? You need to go inside, inside. you. Inside. Whoops. You need to go inside you to, to, to have that exterior then changed. Book two of the series is really all about kind of the mechanics of that, and we're just finishing, we're just working on the audio book for that right now, so the third edition of that will be out really shortly. Um, but let's just read a quote by Richard Feynman, who lived from 1918 to 1988. He was awarded the 1965 Nobel Prize in Physics and is thought of as one of the 10 greatest physicists of all time. He pioneered quantum computing, nanotechnology, worked on the Manhattan Project, and studied the Challenger space shuttle disaster. His revolutionary thinking changed the course of quantum physics. Yeah, this is no lightweight. No lightweight. This is a serious He's dude. really a cool dude. And he's, he's quoted in the book. And these are quotes from the book, 21st Century Superhuman, Book One, Shift of the Ages. Um, he, his description of waves in the field, his description now of waves, how our thoughts are like waves in the field of possibilities. And this is Richard Feynman. It's as if there's an insect on the corner of the pond making waves when it moves. Now, how simple is that? We live in this amazing field of possibilities. Really, it is multitudes of waves or ripples mirrored by the field for us to interpret as they come to us, putting us in much different relationship to reality than we formerly perceived ourselves to be. Reality. Reality is multitudes of waves. Yes. Mirrored by the field for us to interpret as they come to us. And reality is in quotation marks in the book because we are learning to understand reality, our reality, in a whole new way. And this reality is different than we thought. And they knew this quantum physics stuff back in the early 1900s, late 1800s. That's when the double slit experiment was done that shows that thoughts or the observer effect by its attention upon that which is moving in the field causes events and matter to come into form. So when we think about what's going out in the news, what's going out in the world, are we seeing a joyful human culture? Are we dancing and saying, I see new earth coming. I see the joy of my existence. I see my ability to be creative. Or are we getting caught up in an outside narrative which is really mirroring an old energy we carry inside of us. That's you want to read that Niels Bohr? Niels Bohr. In 1913, Niels Bohr of Denmark took the world by storm when the idea that atoms, like many solar systems at rest, do not exist as we were thought in school. Instead, he posited the staggering theory that atoms start out as clouds of possibility and then become a stream or wave of particles. He postulated that only form, they only form into atoms when attention is placed upon them. And that quote. And then the quote from Niels Bohr, if quantum mechanics hasn't profoundly shocked you yet, you haven't understood it yet. Yes. So as we begin to understand these things, our world really begins to change. And believe me, when I wrote this book, my friends would come and knock on the door of the van. I was sitting there long hours every day writing in and in this giant download. And they would say, how are you today? And I'd say, wow, I'm not the same person I was yesterday. And we feel that every day. We are growing and changing as we learn how to walk in mastery in this world and understand these quantum principles and how they really have an effect on our lives. I felt that just reading the book, uh, reading it the first time and then reading it aloud, doing the, 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 the narrations, the audio book. Yeah. Um, I was, I'd come out of the studio just, just looking at the world a whole nother way. It just, uh, it's profound. And then comes the work. 
Then comes the shadow work. Uh, then comes the realizing that whoever comes to you, whatever comes to you, is you. It's you being reflected back to you, uh, whatever that is. And that changes everything because, so how are you looking at that? Are you reacting to the world outside of you or are you choosing? And what is it you're choosing? I'm choosing, oops, sorry about that. I'm choosing love. I choose love. So whatever I'm looking at is, is me. And so I choose to look at that. Whether on the surface it doesn't look pleasant or not, uh, or seems to be too huge for me to even consider being mine, um, owning that responsibility is a big step uh, well, in, in raising our consciousness and who we are in the, in the galaxy. Because yeah. we're changing from planetary beings to galactic beings. And that's like going from kindergarten to we're shooting way on up the line in some rapid, rapid steps. That's and we're right. All, we're all doing that. And, and you speaking this, you're speaking from the perspective that we have been doing this for a while. We've been putting these principles into practice. We didn't just start yesterday. And I remember really being in shock when I first <laughs> heard these things like, you're kidding me. It's got to be partly their fault. That's right. Oh, come on. It's got to be my ex's fault. It's got to be these people that are tearing down statues. It's got to be their fault. It's got to be President Trump's fault. It's got to be the bad guys are out there. But the truth is there is no out there out, out there. there that is different from what is inside of us. And when I look and I go, it's got to be my ex, I have to go inside and go, where is that anger? Where is that self-doubt inside of me? And then go through some principles, some exercises we have for how to clear these things. Because there really is a very practical method to do this. And the, the simple terms are cancel, release, and let go. So we cancel, release, and let go. The data is just like defragging a computer. We a are a biocomputer. So, and as you were saying last night, babe, we were talking about this. And we had a saying, great talk. Yeah, like in the middle of the night talking about what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> uh, but you were saying we, um, uh, we're past the time of the old-fashioned processing. You know, some... People may still need to process, but this is really literally, it is like defragging a computer. If we just take certain steps and go, I see that data out there. I see I'm angry because somebody tore down a statue. I see I'm angry because blah, blah, blah. Somebody cut me off on the freeway. Yeah, and, and I'm not in joy about that thing. So then I go inside and I say, okay, where is this item inside of me? I am going to cancel it, and I just be at one with it. Allow myself to feel those feelings and say, okay, I now choose to release this from inside myself so That's that right. guitar string can't twang anymore. And there's some tips. There's some tricks to doing that. And those, those tricks, one is to understand that this is the world going through a big cleansing. Huge. You know, everything that was created during that darkness during the, the, the old age that we're coming out of, um, cannot stand on its own weight. It That's will right. dissolve and is dissolving just as surely as day follows night. That's right. Though the night, the dark, uh, goes away when the light comes. So uh, it's, like, it's also like the energetics of the cosmos putting in such high frequencies that it's boiling the pot. It's, yes. it's cleaning things out. And the gunk, we're now at the gunk that's stuck on the bottom of the pot. And it's coming to the surface and for as, us to look at say hi there we bless you for having served us go. over these generations we bless you that you served us to have to go through the journey to kill each other to hate each other to have all these weird crazy energies outside of love to go through that journey of experiencing that as a learning lesson as a wow what is this like if we That's do right. it this way and 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 the default the old system is to look at it and put attention on it. What is that? Get into it. The psychoanalytical right. part of it. But the new part, because um, you can do that if you want. You can choose to do that. But you're putting your energy and your attention and keeping in manifest form that which you place your attention on. That which the we other hold way, attention on, we hold in creation. So the other way is just to notice it and love it free. Yes. And let it boil out of the pot. Let it go. You don't have to get into it if if you don't want to, if you don't need to, and actually just, and then you won't even know it. You just love free. It'll That's be right. gone. You won't even remember it. 
and the next thing you'll be, you're in another place, you're shifted, you're observing things differently, and that thing in your exterior that you had noticed just kind of doesn't show up anymore. And it's a walk of mastery to say, can I experience this thing I once hated and have it become love in my present day experience? And the A Course in Miracles says this is the highest teaching that there is, to let where there once was an ancient hatred to turn into love. And this is our walk of mastery in this world. This is the walk, and it's why we always say, breathe, <laughs> smile, and love, yes. because by so doing, we literally change our neurobiology. We see something we don't like out there or in another person. Mm -hmm. We think it's coming towards and it's, us. It's not just a little bit at a time anymore. I mean, these are big leaps True. that you're shifting within. Yes. You notice that. You yes. notice the difference. Then you come up to that situation again, and you're like, hmm, my button's not pushed. I can love that. And then the next time, it doesn't even show up. And what you're finding are synchronicities, circumstances, miracles, cool stuff that are happening in your life because you are shifting. And as you are shifting, your exterior shifts, just like the ripples in the pond. And as we change ourselves... We change the world, as I we hope. say over and over. We have one more quote to read. All these quotes we're reading are in the book. We want to give you a little taste of the kind of teaching that this is, if you're ready for this step in your own evolutionary process. And then we'll go into, will Marek kind of summarize in Spanish a little bit so that we have the, our Spanish listeners. And mm -hmm. if you'd like to mention... Um, if you'd like to mention the just that we're going to go into speaking Spanish in a minute, and we can go ahead and read this quote. Okay. In Spanish. Um, what do you want in Spanish? Just I thought say we that, were going to summarize afterwards. Yeah, just say we'll summarize in Spanish in a minute. Okay. Este, voy a hacer un resumen chico en español al ratito. Si quieren compartir esto con amigos en español para tener la información y saber que vamos a hacer cosas más cosas en español, claro que. El libro, el, el libro uno ya está traducido al español este, y en audiolibro también. Y estamos en proceso de traducir el libro dos, mente. And be sure and write your comments under this video. Even if you're not live, we still read the comments afterward and we love hearing from you. Um, also, you can go to our YouTube channel, 21st Century Superhuman. You can comment under the videos there. Um, and share them with your friends. If you like this, please share it. Uh, we feel like this is critical um, knowledge for this time, this, this great shift of the ages that we are in at this time in Earth's history. So go ahead and read this so a this, bit. So this quote is from... This comes from Stephen Davis, who wrote a book called Butterflies Are Free to Fly. It's really incredible. Very good. That's a must. Yeah, about a must read. Plato's Cave and... and but it's a quote in 21st and so century. This, so this is a quote from the book. Um, if the holographic brain model is to be taken to its logical conclusions, it opens the door to possibility that objective reality the world of coffee cups and mountain vistas, may not even exist. Is it possible that what is out there is really a vast, resonating symphony of waveforms, a frequency domain? David Baum said that the tangible reality of our everyday lives is really a kind of illusion, a holographic image. If the concreteness of the world is but a secondary reality, and what is out there is actually a holographic blur of frequencies, what becomes of objective reality? Put quite simply, it ceases to exist. Although we may think we are physical beings moving through a physical world, this is an illusion. We are really receivers floating through a kaleidoscopic sea of frequency. That is amazing. And what is so cool about it, and what I like us to always remember, is that we are creators. This is a description about how we um, are creators how we create. in right. this, we'll call it a holographic reality. That's a whole other topic in and right. to itself. But just you understanding... Are, you are a fractal of the whole, and the whole is within you. That's right. Just understanding that our thoughts and our emotions and our words and our actions are just like a bug at the edge of a pond who moves his leg, moves his body, mm -hmm. and ripples go out. We are part 
of a giant field of possibilities now exists and we set in motion multiple timelines, multiple possibilities of creation. So we must become at this point in Earth's history, this is what ascension is about. This is, mm. we must become conscious. This is our great awakening. Conscious that every thought, every word, every action has an effect on this reality mm. we exist in. It, they are not just effect, it is not just affecting us. We are in essence creating and affecting it by where we choose to hold our attention. Obviously, this is a huge study. It's why the entire book ended up being 500 pages. Unbelievable, but true. Divided into four smaller books, which are Shift of the Ages. Book two is Mind. Book three is Spirit. And book four is Body. So we want to thank, and everything is coming out in the third edition. Everything is coming out in English and Spanish um, with audiobooks, you want to be sure and get the one with the gold seal on the front because that is the one that is current. Yeah, and it up says to date. it says revised third edition. Yeah, there's people selling um, old copies on Amazon, but it's better if you get the new current one. And um, anyway, we love you all. Should we, we summarize are, in Spanish? Yeah, we're so glad to have you here, and we're going to go ahead and go into a short summary in Spanish and. Um, <laughs> We look forward to seeing you soon in this great rainbow of light. May we all put forth our thoughts, words, and emotions into this process of awakening humanity so that there will be peace, love, and plenty for everyone on earth. Mm -hmm. And remember uh -oh. to breathe. Can we say it in Spanish and English at the same time? We'll do it at the end, too. Right. Respira. Breathe. Sonríe. Smile. And y ama. love. Ok, go ahead in Spanish, babe, and we'll catch you all soon. Para resumir en español, estamos hablando de la física cuántica, que dice que el mundo exterior es un reflejo del mundo interior. O sea, lo que tú tienes adentro está reflejado afuera. Y hay una, una cita de, what's the name of the first quote we did by... Richard, Richard Feynman. 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 Richard Feynman está en el libro, en el libro 1, y increíble científico con muchísimas cosas detrás de él. Este, y él dice que el mundo nuestro es como si hubiera un insecto en, el, en, el, en la esquina de un tanque de agua moviéndose las piernas y las olitas afectan toda, toda el agua. O sea, así es como afectamos el mundo exterior. Viene de nuestro interior y afecta al exterior. Entonces, lo que estamos hablando es, nosotros hoy es de eso mismo. Lo que vemos reflejado, lo que vemos en nuestro exterior, sea nos guste o no, viene de nosotros mismos. Nosotros somos la causa de eso. Y es como un iceberg, que 5% está afuera de, del agua y 95% está debajo del agua. El 5% es la mente consciente. El 95% es el inconsciente, el subconsciente. Y ahí vienen programaciones de físicos de nuestros padres, genéticos, hay programaciones eh, sociales, culturales, muchas cosas te, que tenemos adentro que están reflejados en el mundo que, de los cuales nosotros no estamos conscientes. Entonces, para estar conscientes, para cambiar nuestro mundo exterior, mejor dicho, al ver algo afuera de nosotros, hay que darle gracias, hay que amarlo desde nuestro interior, porque es algo nuestro que está saliendo. Ahora, hay dos maneras de tratar con eso. Uno, es de ver esa cosa de afuera, saber que es nuestro y decir, ok, ¿qué es? Meternos a un psicoanálisis bien profundo para ver qué es eso y a ver de, de sacar todo lo, lo, lo debajo de ello para tratar de limpiarlo. O se puede dejar que se salga solito. Como, como una olla hirviendo de agua que está limpiando la suciedad al, al hervir y esa suciedad que está atascado en el fondo de la olla, eso es lo que se está sacando ahorita. Entonces, la otra opción es de dejarlo que salga, observarlo nada más sin darle más atención y que se salga, amándolo. Te quiero, gracias por haberme servido, eh, te amo mucho y, y adiós. Y luego ni siquiera vas a saber qué era eso que se fue. Y luego ni siquiera vas a verlo 
en tu exterior. Muy importante, es un dato muy significativo en las vidas. Al hacer estos ejercicios, se te van cambiando la vida, no poco a poco, sino a, en brincos. Es muy impactante, muy impresionante los cambios que te pasan en la vida al, al tomar estos, este, estas técnicas en tu vida. El libro es muy bueno, lo explica todo muy bien, repetidamente, para que se ancle muy bien en el, en el ser interior de uno. Y es increíble. And, um, I can get an on Kindle already in Spanish. Ah, que el, el, ah, el libro escrito, ¿no? The PDF, or the, in Kindle. Kindle. El libro mismo lo pueden conseguir en Kindle, ya está disponible. El audiolibro está en proceso, eh, ya lo hemos sometido, está en proceso de aprobación para que lo suelten, está en cualquier momento, eh, para que lo puedan escuchar. Eh, y para resumir todo, vamos, lo, lo que resume el libro, lo que son las instrucciones en casi cada página son, respira, sonríe y ama. Mm. Y con eso cambia, te, tan, cambias a ti mismo y al cambiarte a ti, cambias el mundo. Bendiciones. Bendiciones y gracias. Thank you, everybody. Soon. Chao, chao.